Greetings everyone and welcome to a new series for the channel. As you can see from this fairly minimalistic splash screen, we are playing Bad North. Now, that doesn't really tell us much about uh, the game, except we've got kind of a Viking-y helm over here-ish. I really don't know what kind of helmets the Vikings wore, except they didn't have horns on them, or at least not two horns. But uh, this is... Oh, wow. It's a bit of a tactical roguelike in the vein of Faster Than Light, but set in in a more, well, you know, Swords and Shields kind of area. We are going to be controlling a people who are trying to flee from Viking raiders, and we'll be moving through a game world very much like Faster Than Light, in that we'll, we'll move from one pocket encounter to the next. But as with all games like this, and especially ones that are, that are taking a very... Uh, new um, path through a, a genre, it's easier to show than to describe. So let's begin a new game. Uh, we'll go on difficulty normal, and we'll also... No, we won't skip the tutorial. Let's find out about this game. Archers are vulnerable in melee, as usually they are, yes. Unless they have backup weapons, like, I don't know, spears. That's a pretty good backup weapon, I think. This is our home. Click and drag to rotate the camera. Very nice and uh, very stylistic. I like it. Uh, click our soldiers select squad. Good, good, good. You notice that the world is basically grid, even though it doesn't uh, make that very obvious to you. Now we can move all around. And our houses here produce money. We have to protect the houses for at least as long as we live here. Uh, we've got a Viking ship incoming. We need to get over there to try and protect from said Viking ship. Uh, there we are, the little helmets there. Though, honestly, it's so stylistic that uh, this could be any kind of setting, frankly. Now, we've got two basic units here. This is, we're just bullying them right now. <laughs> there was an awful lot of blood there. Now, if we were on the tile that they um, docked on, it would actually have a bit of pushback. I'll demonstrate that now. I think they're coming in there. And uh, effectively, this is the game. We have to defend from a certain number of waves. Uh, there will be like a final large wave, as you can see, push we'll back there. Uh, final wave incoming. And then you get to choose where you're going to go. The final wave is usually a little stronger than the others. Now, if your units take damage, you lose units, you can actually send them to a house where they will regenerate over a certain amount of time, depending on how large the the unit is, and that can change. Uh, there we go. And they'll be completely inactive whilst in the house. But as long as you protect the houses, you get money from them. And different sized houses give you different amounts. Now, we've got Erlene and Wyman. Can I rename them? Oh, I hope I can. Now, at the end of every mission, you get money from the, the settlements that you protected, and you can invest that money. And what I've believed to be the case is that it is better to invest it all in one person until you unlock something, and then you can start spreading it out. So, Pig Iron. This is our home. Well, the Vikings are going to be here soon. We have found new places that we can go. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about with the faster than light like game world. We move from battle to battle, node to node. Now, can I can I change your can I change your name? Can I maybe maybe not? Okay, fine. Fatigued cannot be deployed until next turn. Every time a unit is used in a battle, it can't fight any longer until the next turn. They, they have to have a bit of time. They can have an item, though we don't have any items to give them. They can also have a class. They can be swordsman, versatile melee unit, carrying shields to block blows and projectiles. Spearman, a defensive melee unit, carrying a long spear or a pike. Uh, great at holding one position, but cannot fight while moving, whereas the swordsman can. And archers, a ranged unit that deals death from afar, but struggles with close encounters. Uh, exactly the same here with Wyman. It doesn't look like we can rename them. That is much sad. That would have been amazing. Uh, right. Well, all that remains for us, we can't actually move on because we have no one to deploy. So we need to let the turn pass. Now this is showing us where the Vikings will invade in the next turn. I have no idea what will happen if we stayed here. I'm not even sure we can. Um, because in the next turn, the Vikings are going to take over this area. But as a general rule of thumb, it is better to be moving forward, ever forward. So, we're going to go ahead to Geldinger and see what we can do. If your commanders fall in battle, they will be lost forever. This is, it said, this is a tactical roguelike. I think many games confuse the idea of roguelike with just having permanent death. 
No, you might as well say it's a Souls-like at that point. Uh, except in Souls, you, you care about it. You, as a measure of difficulty, Souls-like is completely fair. But, yeah, you will lose these units. So anyone you've invested a lot of money in, yeah, that will be quite bad. And you've got up to four commanders with the looks of it. Now, we can choose which ones to deploy. Um, do we want to deploy both? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's actually deploy both. We won't clear either one. I like this little tree area up there. Right, we've got a uh, ship coming from the rear. Interesting uh, build, this. Doesn't look like it's very easy for the enemies to get around. But where are you going to be landing? You're going to make, make landfall right over there. So let's uh, hem you in. There we go. Because we have got a little house on the, the shore here that we want to protect. I really, really do like how, how pretty this game is. I like games which have a stylistic... Uh, that, that have made stylistic choices in terms of their art. Uh, did we lose someone? We did. So uh, I could send you uh, to regenerate. Go ahead. I think we can handle this by ourselves. And as you can see, they are now not available. And this little thing will tick through. And every time it ticks, it's replacing that slot. But if you've only lost one person, it's got to tick through the entire thing before it starts replacing anyone. Uh, no. They will try to light fires. Scallywag Vikings. But you don't have to worry too much. A couple of flaming torches aren't going to destroy your home. Uh, but it will destroy it after like three or four. And it takes a little bit of time for the fires to be doused. So if one person from one group throws a torch, you kill them. But not you don't leave enough time before the next person comes along and throws a torch, then you're going to be in a bit of trouble. Now, we don't need to just um, compulsively restore them to full every single time they lose one person. It's when they're getting really low, when the commander is one of the few people left that you really want to start considering putting them away. It'll take a more or less the same amount of time to replenish the people in there as if uh, they were there was only one person missing, because it does have to tick all the way through, as we saw. There we go. Uh, we're going to invest in you, and then we're going to start investing the rest in Wyman to try and get Wyman up to having their own class. Now, we have... Ooh. Okay, now these item, uh, these uh, icons imply items. This icon implies that there's a new unit that we can get there. But first and foremost... Hmm, currently, you have no class. I think we're going to go for... Yeah, we're going to go for a uh, sword and sheet. Shield, sword and board. Uh, once you've done that, you've got a skill that you can unlock. So in our case, we could get plunge, perform a jumping attack from a cliff onto enemies below. Or we can just improve our class. So we could become a veteran soldier, tougher, stronger, and all round more effective infantry units. I like the idea of this. Uh, all right, well, we've got a pass it in. Pig Iron is proper gone now. Now, the thing here is we've got two areas we kind of want to get to. In the next turn, the enemy are going to be here. <sighs> we want this item, though. How about we just send our swordsman unit and see what we can do? I think that, well... There are lots of houses here. We'll probably end up with a lot of money. If we do that... Then we may be able to get you up to Spearman, and I'd feel a lot better about having you, or maybe just another Swordsman, I'd feel a lot better about having you doing any job by yourself if you had a little bit more, uh, um, a better uh, setup there, if you were also Swordsman so you had shields. Yeah, we'll take both here so that we can continue to upgrade both. Now, where are they going to come from? Where are you? Over there. Okay, that's the best way down. That is a long route over there. Uh, looks like they can't actually get anywhere, so we might as well just head on down. Actually, sure. Let's get you down there. You got your little shields. You'll be much more effective here. And since I don't need you, you can move back. There we go. Now, from what I've uh, been able to tell, you can only give money to someone who was there in the battle. So, you do need to bring someone along if you're trying to level them up. You can't just have them hidden away and then level up as and when uh, you get back with cash. Uh, all right. Get down here as well. In fact, I would like both of you here because this one looks like it might be a bit of a bigger battle. Uh, 
You've already lost two units, which is not good. Notice they've all changed direct. No, get it. There you go. That's right. Thank you. Ooh, you took a bit of a pound in there, didn't you? Another big ship on its way. Let's get down there. That one of you is going to have to uh, get into some healing, I think. Yeah, more than likely. It does slow down when you select a unit, so that's one way that you can uh, get a better look at the battlefield. We'll wait for them to make landfall. And pump. Right, get in there. Start fighting, please. There we go. Right, you absolutely need to go and set up. You can flee if you need to. It's not great. I mean, it's kite a little bit here. We'll see. We're probably going to see some torches being thrown. But it won't be too much of an issue, I don't think. We'll have to be careful, though. And let's just wait for them to uh, make landfall. Come on, then. Make landfall. Apparently, I selected prematurely. Right, go on. Start attacking. I want to control this fight a little bit more accurately. Okay, come on. Two down, I think. Oh, wow. I think quite a lot of people went down there. Right, get in there. That's right. Whilst they're busy throwing torches. Thank you. Oh, okay. Everyone is safe. We had one person left. <laughs> we really pushed that one. Ah, it's good. We also got a Warhammer. Very nice. Okay, so I want you to at least have a class. And then we've got a lot of points left to spend. Um... All right, we're going to invest, hmm, I think, seven for a skill. But sure, we'll invest all of them. There we go. All right, Bumble Isle we can get to now. I really would like to get down there, but that's not going to be something we can do just yet. What is this item? A heavy hammer used for clearing large groups of foes. Well, since you're... Kind of my uh, main foe clearer. Yeah, sure. You can have it. Once you've equipped it, you can't take it back. So be aware of that. Also, we can level this up later on as well. Uh, you can pretty much level up everything you get. Now then, as for you. Should we go for another sword and board? I think some spearmen would be nice, actually. Some pikes. Uh, your skill, charge your pikes along a straight line quite nice I think but either way we need to pass a turn so let's do that now both of these islands are gonna be gone next turn which is not particularly nice uh, I've got four homes here two uh, sorry four homes here but a very wide area where they can attack over here they can only make landfall here and down there hmm tricky one Quite the tricky one. All right, well, let's go and see what we can do. I am only going to send... Well... Actually, I think... Wyman, I'm going to send you alone. I think this is going to be an easier one for you to take. Especially now you're leveled up. These guys are very good at not better getting hurt. Unless you get hit by archers, in which case they will die, like dogs. Because they can't run and fight, and archers can, to a degree. Right, get over there. Chop, chop. Now, where exactly are they making landfall? Is it on this tile? Yes, it is. Right, get in there. Right, let's have a good look at this, shall we? I want to, from this direction. Go. Poke them with the pokey ends. Perfect. And again. More pokey end poking. This defensive unit is quite, quite good. Um, as you can see, they, they keep people away from them, which means they take less casualties. Again, though, if it's archers, a bit of an issue there. I'm going to need to get on down there very quickly. Go, go, go. Poke, 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 poke. Good. Get down there now. Unfortunately, we might lose this little house. There's not a lot we can do. Get in there. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, no, no, you kind of need to be on the tile that they are. Kill them. Kill them with the pokey ends. This is the problem. They can't, they can't move too well. Well done. Oh, it's still there. Thank goodness. You did take a lot of damage there. It's all right. 
That was mostly because we were having to uh, deal with them in a not perfect situation. Once again over here. Now the only way up from there is this route. So we're just going to hold this. And this is where spearmen really stand out. And that's why I decided to use this group alone here. Because this is defensible land. Perfect for a spearman. So we're going to stand at the top here. And we're going to have the high ground. We're just going to keep poking them with the pokey sticks as they try to ascend. No! Get down, you dogs! Actually, I don't even know why people use that term. Dogs are amazing! Why do people think it, it's, it's something that you can insult people with? Oh, if only more people were like dogs, frankly, the world would be a better place. Uh, right, let's uh, invest pretty much all of this money. I can do nothing else with it, so sure, it's all yours. There you go. Now, why have you only got six coin? Uh, you should have more, I would have said. Alright, maybe I get it next turn? I don't know, maybe you can only get some per turn. But uh, either way, I would like to go down here. We can now hit two uh, at the same time. We've got a bit of a stronger thing here. And local commander, Egbert. Uh, very well, Egbert. Uh, well, we're just going to have to deploy. Now, Egbert should be here as well. If we can keep Egbert alive, then Egbert will become our man. What a fine name you have, Egbert. Uh, right, let's get over there then. Womp. Egbert, you stick back a little bit. I'll have you join the fray, should we need you. It's getting nice and close. Right then. Now, you've got your Warhammer. I really want to see how this works. Get in there. Go! Start swinging, throwing them everywhere. Okay, that worked quite well. Alright, uh, over here we go. Oh, actually, no. We need to be on the other side. Trixie Scallywags are going this way. Uh, how many boots up here are there? Yeah, there's two. Three. Well, two, really. There's three paths, but only two ways to get to the top. Alright, this should be fairly easy, I would say. And they, they also have swords, though. Those are swords and shields. So, you know, understandably, they could be a little bit more dangerous for us. But with this, we'll have a third commander. We can start uh, moving around. We'll, we'll get Egbert leveled up quickly as we can. There we are. Get in there. Press the numbers advantage. Perfect. There's the next couple. Ooh, got a sword and shield on their way. Let me get back as well. But don't die. Please. I need you to just charge in there. Go. Get in there. Get in there now. Everyone, just dogpile them. Now. There we are. Perfect. Where's the next attack coming from? The arch is starting to get a little bit low. I wouldn't mind sending people off to get uh, better health. In fact, go and get some health. Get in there as fast as you can, please. Final wave incoming. All down to you guys. Do your best. That's right. Get in there. You can fight and run, so it's pretty good. Uh, right, they're going to be making landfall over here. Now, we'll have a little bit of time. So I'm going to just buy my time. Uh, bide my time while Egbert is getting fully healed. Because these guys don't have shields. So it shouldn't be too bad. Right, get down there. You're now far fuller squad. I don't want to lose... Uh, uh, and sword and shield. Nope, get over there. Don't let them set fire to anything. Chase them down. There we go. Well done. Pepperhorn is saved. We got a little bit of money as well. Got enough to get uh, Egbert a class, I would say. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Marvellous, I must say. Though I am a little bit upset that you didn't get extra money. I don't know why I'm there. Oh well. Uh, right. So, Egbert. Well, we could just focus on having two people um, per group. Like, like two groups at a time. And I think that would be good. The skill here is volley, bombard a location with a hail of arrows. Okay. Uh, right then. 
they're only going to spread into this island. So that's the only one we really need to take care of right now. This one is quite open. This one, a little less so. But that one is super open. Hmm. I'm going to say that Wyman and Egbert could probably hold this. And then Aline could hold this one, maybe? Tricky. It is a tricky one, that. Alright, well... At the very least, let's get in there and see what we're going to do. Given the approach, these ultimately could be sacrificed. Because I don't believe there's a, a way to get up there. And then uh, Wyman would be able to just hold this area by himself. We would lose a bunch of stuff to do that, but it's quite possible to do. Why, uh, aye, aye. Aline? Yeah, we're going to clear Aline and deploy just Egbert and Wyman. Right. Egbert, take the high ground. I mean, I could deploy you there, but there's no need right now. Let's see how this goes. Where are you coming from? You're coming from over yonder. Now, you have got shields. Which means that you are going to be decently good at uh, repelling my uh, archer attacks. Right, come on. Start facing them. Start shooting. There we go. Bing. Now, they are going to be plonked back. Draw back. You too. Keep it up. Now they're going to have a hard time getting close. Just because of the spearman. Oh, nice. Very nicely done. Stay behind. Stay behind the spearman. The safest place for you. Now they have no shields. But unfortunately my archer is not very accurate. Super inaccurate actually. Now we know they have to come down from this direction, so we don't have to do too much. Right, you could actually afford to be up here this time, and I think that might uh, give you a bit of a better time firing on them. A bit of a better angle, maybe. There we are. Start thinning them out if you can. Well done. Very well done, actually. Two down. Three. Come on. That's fine. Well done. Ooh, draw back a bit here, and you get down there, I would say. Because this one's going to be a bit tricksy. In fact, draw back completely. Let them approach under a hail of arrows, because they have no shield, so they can't deflect the shots, although we're very inaccurate. Oh, wow. That was a lot of death there. Well done. Well done, indeed. There we are. Playing to our strengths. Not a single casualty. Fantastic. Is there such a thing as a perfect victory? Do we get more for that? Doesn't look like it. Alas. That will get you once you've got an upgrade. And then, yeah, we'll get you an upgrade as well. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. That was fantastically cool, actually. Another person. Another item, too. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right, well, let's get you an upgrade to your skill. And Egbert, let's get you volley. There we are. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Indeed. Right, well, we could go out to pretty much any of these locations, um, but that that item is something I want specifically. Now, I'm a little bit worried about Erlene, because Erlene is more rough and tumble, just get in there and fight kind of uh, character. I'm thinking that you might do better with Egbert's backup. Wyman is pretty great at just not taking damage, but we're learning. All right, let's get in there. If I really wanted to play a cautious, I could just have all three together at all times. Now, this is a lot of places that we can be attacked from here. Pretty much the entire island. Hopefully the size of the island dictates something about the, the type of enemy you're going to be facing. Maybe they won't send their, their best Vikings the smallest island. Oh dear. Oh, that's fine. You've got, uh, you've got shields, so that actually worked out well. If that had been Egg, um, sorry, Wyman, would have been a bit rough. There we go. Get in there. Slaughter the archers. With much, much focus. Much force. Much gusto. Are you also archers? Yeah, you are. So we're going to hide. No reason to get out there and, and take damage that we don't need to take. And then we'll just run at them once they've made landfall. In fact, get over there. There we go. 
go. They still shouldn't be able to see us. And now start making a move. Go, 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 go. Start to hit the moving target. Well done. Perfect. I approve. More archers. Hide again. It's actually working quite well. They will never see you coming. Well, they will see you coming because you've got a long way to approach. But my hope is that they're quite inaccurate. Go. Start moving. And hello. Welcome party deployed. I'm uh, starting to get a little bit low now. Ooh, that's a, that's a chunky fight there. Um, I do not really have time for this. Okay, and I just realized I need to use that uh, ability. All right, we'll use that to clear this up and then immediately jump into a house. Get down here. I'll wait, because I haven't seen this used, and it might just immediately activate it. So I'm going to wait for them to be in the fight. All right, go. Oh, right, you, you can actually do it. Kapow, will you? No? Okay, then. Fair enough. Get in there. It didn't look like that, that worked properly. Well, this might be nasty, actually. There's no way of me getting you out of here, but... They're going to have to come around the long way. So we're going to have a little bit of time for you to get to full strength. Oh dear. Please don't die in a fire. Please don't die in a fire. Oh, we lost one. But we did not, in fact, lose everyone. So get up there quickly. You need to fight them. Now. Now is the time that the fighting needs to be happening. Quickly. There. No, up, up top. Go. Oh, you've already lost so many people. This is actually quite quite rough. Um, kill them. Right, ground pound. Let's wait. Let's wait. Wait, bite your time. And... Ha-ha! Take that! Oh, that was down to the wire. We did lose that, but uh, we got the Warhorn, which is good. And you know what? I'm just glad we didn't lose Erlene. That would have been awful. Absolutely awful. There we go. Well, there's a new item now. Calls instant reinforcements from a house. Ooh. I don't know. I'll be for my spearman then. Yes, I like that. I like that quite a lot. Call two extra soldiers per use. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to wrap up this episode. In the next one, we're going to be moving on. Uh, it's, we're a little ways off being able to gather the next um, the next commander, but we're starting to get there. And, of course, we can get Erlene a, uh, a, a, a new skill, and that will be Plunge. Let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, increased damage is, is all we can get from that. Unlimited range is what we can upgrade that. That actually sounds pretty cool. And more arrows fired in each volley. All of them sound pretty nice to me. I really do hope you have enjoyed this glimpse into Bad North. As always, you can check in the video description down below for links on where you can find it and also links to social media, that sort of thing. And I will see you in the next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.